Hello everyone, welcome to class series and in this video we're gonna be discussing our question answers of our poem to a pair of Cyrus cranes. So we're gonna be discussing our main of paragraph writing in that our first question is how is the callousness of the bird killers brought out in the poem? The answer of this question is first point poem brings out a contrast between birds and hunter. Second point, male bird is necking. The word can be interpreted in two different ways. Third point, hunter shoots down a bird and picking it up, throws it into a washing bag. Fourth point, birds are very graceful and beautiful, but the hunter treats them carelessly. Fifth point, hunter goes away, but the female bird stays there. Now we come to the paragraph of this answer. The paragraph goes as, the callousness of the hunters is brought out in the way the poet describes killing of a male Cyrus bird. It was shot when the bird had dipped its break in the water. It seemed like it was trying to pull the reluctant sun out of the water at the rim of the horizon. The hunters were not touched by the beauty of the bird. They picked up the dead bird by its hands and jaws and flung it into a coarse bag as if it were a piece of dirty linen and the bag a washing bag. Our second question is how does the poet bring out the agony and desperation of the female crane in the poem. The answer of this question is there are five points in that our first is the female bird flies around crying when the male bird is shot. Second, it returns to the spot where the hunter goes away. Third, it goes on expressing its sorrow to anyone who could understand. Fourth, it sits on the feathers as if to hatch them for getting food and drink. Fifth, it finally dies grieving for its male. The paragraph writing for this answer is the cranes pair for life. Having seen its mate shot dead by the hunters and being taken away, the female Saras is heartbroken. The bird circled the sky with grace, mooring over the disgraceful end of its partner. After the killers had left the place, the female bird returned to the death scene and kept flying around, winning for its companions with short and long veils resembling the Morse coat. With her break, she kissed and blood-strained feathers of her mate which the wind had not yet carried away and sat down to hatch them in the hope she could bring him back to life. This shows the agony and the despair of the bird. Our third question of this main paragraph writing is Pick out any two figures of speech used in the poem and explain how they add to the effectiveness of the poem. The answer of this question is the first stanza of the poem contains a figure of speech which is the hyperbole which is used to highlight a particular point through exaggeration. The male Saris crane is shown as if it is stretching its neck to pull out the sun from the rim of the horizon. It is shown to be engaged in its impossible act and yet the very attempt to do it shows the courage of the crane. However, the bird was no match for the cunningness and heartlessness of man. The second stanza contains the figure of speech as simile in which the line is to lie like dirty linen. The proud dignified bird was killed and thrown into the washing bag like dirty linen. This reveals the callousness and lack of ascetic sense of the hunter. The beautiful, graceful bird was just a piece of meat for him.